She lives every day looking over her shoulder, staring into the shadows. He claims that I'm sending him psychic messages. Crippled by fear of a man who has become her relentless stalker. He sent my boss that email to let me know he knows who I work for. There's been explicit rape threats, uh, death threats. A man no one can find. I just want to live my life, you know, I just want to go to work and be a normal person and not feel the threat of um, someone coming to kidnap me, rape me, or kill me. Her name is Lenora Claire, and for the past several years, her life has been under constant threat because of this man. Who is one person you wish would have never walked into your life? Oh, without a doubt, that's a guy who goes by the name Cloud Star Chaser, AKA Justin Masler. He's someone we all should be worried about and afraid of. Yeah, absolutely. Like, he's not, he's not bound by the same things that most of us sort of mentally healthy people are, where Clearly. we're afraid. He's not afraid of jail because he, he feels that he's invincible. I honestly believe that he will kill somebody someday. Before she started receiving almost daily warnings like these, I am the most powerful man in the world, and there are real consequences for mistaking me for a crazy guy. Lenora Claire was gaining fame as an up-and-coming art curator. My biggest show to date featured erotic depictions of the Golden Girls, and I was on like everything from TMZ to NPR, NBC News, you name it. Things have worked out well for me. But Lenora was about to become a victim of her own success. It was 2011, I just opened up an art gallery. I'd gotten a lot of press. I was one of the LA Weekly People of the Year. I was at the gallery one day and this guy shows up, I kid you not, in a uh, spacesuit, which I thought was kind of funny and strange. What Lenora had no way of knowing then was that the quirky man who called himself Cloud Star Chaser, he had just jumped bail after being arrested for stalking someone else, the daughter of presidential hopeful Donald Trump, Ivanka. What happened was he was arrested in New York for stalking Ivanka. He, um, while on bail, he hitchhiked to Los Angeles, saw an article about me, and was sort of, I guess, fixated. And that's how he found me to begin with. He comes up to me, um, we have a little conversation. He tells me that I remind him of Lilu from The Fifth Element, that I'm a supreme being. And then he looks me in the eye, and it was just so chilling, I'll never forget it. And he goes, and I'm gonna stalk you. Lenora immediately pushed Masler out of the gallery, shaken but with no real reason to believe it was anything other than just another strange L.A. story. But Masler was dead serious. And then the next day, everyone's, my phone's ringing off the hook and they're like, girl, that guy that you just had the weird uh, interaction with, he's actually been arrested and extradited to New York because he has a long history of stalking Ivanka Trump. After bringing Masler back from LA, New York authorities lock him up again to face additional charges. Were you scared? You know, like I said, at first, I just thought it was like a bizarre thing, but then when I saw that, I was like, oh, that's creepy, but you know, he, he's in jail, it must be okay but everything was far from okay. It was, I don't know, maybe like a week or 10 days after, these letters just started showing up. On the envelope it says, you know, from Cloud Star Chaser in jail, you know, like on it, so you get this jail mail. Shortly after that, Lenora started receiving emails, tweets, and even texts from Asler, the insane ramblings of a schizophrenic man. He refers to himself as, the Messiah, Jesus, Superman, Harry Potter, and that I'm some sort of like-minded person with the special abilities. Eventually it escalated to where he would tweet at me that he needed to kidnap me. I wasn't gonna like it at first, but he needed to harness my special abilities, my powers, so that he could fight ISIS and that'd be the good of everybody. For the longest time, Lenora kept the messages to herself. But now, it's been four years. Justin Masler is no longer in jail, and the problem is only getting worse. I have literally thousands of emails, tweets, and he has entire blogs dedicated to stalking and raping me. I've just had enough. It's, I thought it would stop. I thought he would be medicated and it would be okay, and that's obviously not the case. What's the scariest thing? The scariest thing, you know, is that he has so many of the same things that, like, the guy who killed John Lennon. It's like there's so many behavioral traits and he really exhibits all of them. It's just so textbook that this, this guy is a legitimate threat. So then why hasn't he been locked up? As Lenora learned, it's not as easy as just filing a report. In fact, even a simple restraining order, which would make interacting with Lenora illegal, has proven difficult. Mostly because the last address Justin Masler gave authorities was a volcano in Hawaii. The way the law currently is, is if somebody is homeless like he is, you can't serve them. 
in my opinion, everything that you told me, he should be behind bars right now. Yeah, absolutely. Prior to this happening, I was under the assumption that if there was somebody who was diagnosed schizophrenic with a long criminal background, if you came forward with a kidnap, rape, or death threat, I really thought that they'd be like, let's take him away. But Crime Watch Daily won't sit back and do nothing. We arranged a meeting with Hollywood security expert Fred Wilson and Deputy DA Rhonda Saunders, who literally helped write California's current stalking laws. This is a tall task, yeah. but we're here to help you and everybody else out there who's going through what you're going through. So what's the next steps here, guys? Next step is that you contact or we contact Threat Management Unit from LAPD, who are the specialists in this area. Uh, we get the troops behind you. Uh, we notify a federal agency. The FBI is very, very involved now with these uh, shooters, uh, the things that are going on all over the country. I think that they would be very interested in his emails. Yeah, I'm just going to read some of these because I think people need to get a gist of yes. what you're doing oh, with yes. every day. You Start here this with this one. This is okay. beyond bizarre. Hi, how are you doing, Lenora? I thought I'd send you a marriage request because I recently found out I'm the real Roger Rabbit while you're the real Jessica Rabbit. Okay, now he starts to get sexual here. I'm not gonna get into that, but it's pretty crass. Fred, would you agree that with these emails, would you say that there are red flags being raised on this case? Absolutely, and I think it should be turned over to the FBI. We can help you with LAPD. I can get your letters to the right people, yeah. and we can get it on top of the pile. I'm unable to serve him because he's homeless and so I have a right. so that's difficult to number one. I want to bring up the idea of serving via email. Why is this not an option? There was one case where it was allowed. Why can't I do that now? I think that that's a brilliant idea to be able to do it with our modern technology. We never could have done this a couple of years ago. Can we help her? Yeah. <laughs> More than happy to help you. For now, police tell us they are aware of Lenora's case and keeping an eye out for Masler. We'll stay on the case and continue to update you as the story develops. In the meantime, after our meeting, Lenora has begun working with Deputy DA Saunders to hopefully create new laws that would help others like her. There's a lot of people like myself who sort of are in this weird category where you're like internet popular. You get a little more attention than the regular person, but you're not actually rich, you're not actually famous. You don't have a security team. And the whole thing is the laws now, someone has to die, you know, for there to be a Megan's law. I don't want there to be a Lenora law. I want Justin to get the help that he clearly needs because he's not gonna stop. I'm saying this now, I'm not being hyperbolic. He's going to kill or seriously harm somebody. And Matt Masler is now in even more trouble. Now court documents reveal he recently sent emails to a member of Ivanka Trump's family and went to New York without permission. Bearing all of that in mind then, how do we have a situation where this guy is not in jail? Matt, the problem is he's still missing. Now, we've learned from authorities they believe he's in Hawaii. His father has confirmed that, but won't tell anyone exactly where. 